What is up? We are back in black in the building. Shout out to everybody out there at the Core Plantation doing what you got to do to survive. Did Jesus come back? Oh, damn. Uh, you mean he didn't? You just been hoping for his time to return as the dominant society is going, oops, upside your head. I mean, just oops, upside your head. Shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to my brother, David Ocampo, my brother, James Youngblood. James, man, we going to get it cracking. Look, just let me get through this, man. My dog is finally getting out of her heat stage. And my boy dog is finally starting to calm down. <laughs> man, it's been one hell of a couple of weeks, bruh. I'm used to it, but I'm like, God damn. But anyway, shout out to my brother Dave for no compromise. My brother James Youngblood, Shawnee, Erica. Hey, special shout out to Shawnee's family, man. You know, they've been going through a lot, and I've talked about it before. We can't give the details of it, but much props and respect go out to Shawnee's family. Shout out to Philly. Florida in the building. Erica, you already know. Uh, shout out to all my siblings. Uh, you know, everybody out there, the homegirl Jerrica, the homegirl Matanya Latanya, Taja Mariah, uh, my homegirl Melina as well, man. Shout out to her. We chop it up all the time on the daily. Man, we got a great topic today, y'all. Law enforcement is a joke. <laughs> it just, it really is. And, and we're going to break this down. We're going to break it down in layman's terms. We're going to have a discussion about it. We're going to talk about the things that we need to know about this shit. And this is going to be a great topic today because I got several, several examples. You know what I mean? That we're going to talk about today. And I really, really hope. Thank you for everybody that's tuned in. And, you know, I had some suspected white supremacists in there leaving comments. I had to tell one motherfuckers, please say no to meth. You know, we don't want you to burn your trailer down. You know what I mean? Don't come on my page leaving them bogus ass comments. I will respond. Shit. I'm not soliciting this shit to everybody because this podcast ain't for everybody. No, I'm not trying to get clicks and views and all that. For everybody that's been listening since the inception of this podcast, shout out to the homegrown Nuke. Shout out to the homegirl Roxanne. Nuke is handling business. That's the only reason why Nuke can't do this podcast. Because Nuke is handling business. And when she's done handling business, you know what I'm saying? Maybe if she can, we kind of do a couple of them, whatever. We have to do them like via internet or something like everybody else is doing. But anyway, uh, if you've been listening to this podcast from since its inception, we ain't, there, we ain't trying to get no clicks and no likes for what? And it, it ain't real no way. Except for the people that I know listening to. Hey, man, I appreciate everybody listening and joining. If people fuck with the channel, fuck with it. If not, it's, man. Hey, man, the people... We, hey, we got jobs in this motherfucker. We work at the core plantation over here. And no, I don't know. So we not tripping about that shit. The people that listen to this shit, this is information that me and the people that listen to this exchange back and forth. So that's what this shit is about. But we gonna get into it, man. Let's handle it. Hey, don't get me to sing in this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking ass. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Don't have me to get to sing in this motherfucker. I shut it down. Looking ass. But shout out to everybody out there, man. Hey, man, I got <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh, really. That's why I started singing. Because this shit, it's actually pretty funny. Okay, let me start by reading. Let me see if I could find some video because I would like to find some video of Brian Jeffrey Raymond. Hold on for just one second. Let's see if we can find some video. Let's see. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because the shit is funny. Oh, man. All right, hold on. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Let's, let, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if they play it. Because you know how they do. You know how law, for, law enforcement is when it's the dominant society. They will hide shit from you in a minute. But when it's a nigga, they going to tell you everything that's going on. 
I'm talking about, I'm talking about a nigga ain't even been done nothing wrong. They'll still be like, hey, just in case this nigga fuck up and he in law enforcement, this is his address, this is his wife, and his kids, and his great-great-grandfather. And they start giving you all kinds of stats you don't even fucking need when it's a when it's a foundational black American. But when it's a white person, you can find fucking Waldo, but you can't find they asses. So let's get into it. Let's see if they play it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully ain't no commercial, because you know they can do it. See, told you, it be these motherfucking commercials. But anyway, while these commercials are passing the time, I'm telling you, haven't y'all noticed that? James Youngblood, Dave from No Commas, all y'all out there, don't y'all know that when, when it's a nigga, they give you all kinds of information you don't even need. And then when it's a motherfucking uh, a white person, you can't find no information. You don't even know what's going on. Yeah, they, they, they I'm sick of this shit, man. Come on, man. I should be able to skip this shit. For real. They get on my nerves with this shit. Let's see if they... Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, they got them right there. But they definitely, definitely... Let's see. We might have to go somewhere else and see if we can find this shit. Because they talking about some other motherfucking shit. This is clickbait. That's, that, I get tired of this shit, man. Doing this fucking clickbait shit. Let me turn the music on while I find something. They get on my nerves with this shit. Clickbaiting your ass into a fucking... Man, tell on the motherfucker that did the shit he wasn't supposed to do. Don't clickbait us to no bullshit. They get on my nerves with that shit, man. Talk about the shit at hand and stop making it seem like you're going to do it. Man, I can't stand websites that be doing it. And it be like Fox News and all that shit, too. It be they asses doing that shit. Thank you. This is not no fucking video, you motherfucker. Say the, show the fucking video. Not no sucker shit. All right, here we go. Let's see. It's accused of drugging and sexually abusing unconscious women could soon collapse. A judge is set to hear arguments tomorrow. She's expected to. Okay, we're going to start from the beginning. Just to let y'all know, uh, this is uh, a dude named uh, Brian. Uh, what was his last name? Uh, QC, because they, they don't even want to put it in his thing. Brian Jeffrey Raymond, an ex-CIA agent. Just drugging bitches and just doing all kinds of sucker shit. Just doing all kinds, just doing what he want to do. Because it's his it's shit, just do what he wants. Shit, I don't give a fuck. I ain't going to get caught. By the time I get caught, I get some attorneys and they'll just file, file, they'll fight it for me. And then I'll probably get a slap on the wrist and I just can't be an FBI. I can't be a CIA agent. Oh, well, I'm already made my money. Fuck out of here. So they're going to tell you about what the fuck he was doing. A former CIA officer who's accused of drugging and sexually abusing unconscious women could soon collapse. A judge is set to hear arguments tomorrow. She's expected to decide whether federal agents botched the execution of a warrant that they used to search the defendant's phones. NBC News Justice and Intelligence Correspondent Ken Delaney. Did y'all hear that? Of course. Because the dominant society as nearly full of junior teachers, they always on code. Remember that shit has more. This is just an incredible case on so many levels. Brian Jeffrey Raymond is a former CIA officer. He was a longtime spy for the United States based in Mexico City, working out of the embassy there, living in government paid housing, spoke for government paid housing, a.k.a. David for no compromise taxes, James Youngblood's taxes, Tasha's taxes, Mariah's taxes, everybody that listens to this, y'all tax dollars is going to a dominant society motherfucker just drugging women and just fucking them and doing what the fuck he want to do with them. Well, nigga, you didn't need to be a CIA agent to do that shit. You just just go to the bunny ranch out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of women that you can drug and you just do what you want to do with them. But don't use taxpayer dollars to do that shit. Went Spanish. And back in 2020, uh, a woman ran screaming from his apartment naked and claimed that he had sexually assaulted her. And that began an investigation that ultimately led to a number of charges and accusations accusing Raymond of drugging and sexually abusing. This man is the CIA Jeffrey Dahmer, except he just ain't cutting them up. We don't know how many people he probably done, done this shit to. This is the type of shit that I'm talking about. Now, why is it that... How would y'all allow a person to work for the C I fucking A and you don't know that he's doing this sucker shit? Stop. CIA know all that shit. Stop. Stop with the bullshit. Please do not let these people fool you. Well, they probably didn't know. They know everything. 
Nigga, they can turn on your TV and watch you. Y'all ain't never fucking, y'all ain't never read up on Eric Snowden. That's why Eric Snowden can't come back to the United States of America. Espionage. Because that motherfucker told what they was doing. So we got these cameras and shit on your phone, all that shit. They can tap right into your phone and watch everything you fucking doing. Women for years, uh, mostly in Mexico City, some in the United States. And Raymond actually agreed to plead guilty and did plead guilty. See? So he was guilty of what the fuck he was doing. And he knew what he was doing was fucking wrong under a plea deal uh, to two counts of sexual abuse. But then his lawyers discovered that the way uh, law enforcement agents seized his iPhones and obtained a lot of the evidence in the case was potentially flawed, potentially unconstitutional. So they And guess what? You don't think his attorneys are in cahoots with the CIA's attorneys so they can fucking just sweep this under the rug just in case if people make it a public story? Because they damn but show didn't do that shit to Gary Webb. And if you don't know who the fuck Gary Webb is, go Google Gary Webb Dark Alliance. Go Google him. He was the one, he was the one who uncovered the crack cocaine epidemic when they flooded black neighborhoods in the 80s through Freeway Ricky Ross. And he once he uncovered it, supposedly Gary Webb shot himself in the head twice. You tell me how you do that. Vince the judge last year to let him withdraw his guilty plea, a very unusual circumstance. And now he's under indictment. He's in the D.C. jail. And this week there is a hearing on whether most of the evidence in the case should be thrown out. And we're talking about nearly 600, what all sides agree, are very incriminating photos of Raymond with women in states of incapacitation, with Raymond performing sexual acts without their permission on these women. Uh, very, very incriminating photos seized first from his iPhone, then from his other devices. But what the defense says is the way the government seized his iPhones under a warrant was unconstitutional because they say that they went back to him three times uh, in an unauthorized manner. And they also compelled him to provide his pin code to open the device uh, when the courts have held that you can't do that. You can't make someone provide a pin code that's considered uh, violating the Fifth Amendment provision against self-incrimination. So it's let me tell y'all something. I hope y'all really listen to me. Y'all don't think that the CIA know that? This is the government. These are the same people that made the law. You don't think they knew that shit already? If y'all don't think that they knew that shit already, y'all motherfuckers need to wake the fuck up. They already knew. Look, let's just illegally search his shit and throw up some bullshit case. It'll get thrown out. He can go away. Uh, he won't fuck up his shit. He won't fuck up our shit. And we'll just keep it moving. This is theater. They're just doing this shit just in case people start digging into it and calling out how fucked up the CIA is. That's all that is. Pretty complicated legal stuff. But the bottom line here is a judge will have to decide at a hearing after a hearing on Thursday whether this was a good search or not. And if she rules that this search was unconstitutional, it's possible that almost all the evidence in the case could be thrown out and this person could walk free even though... See? What did I tell you? They know what the fuck they doing, man. This is called system of racism, white supremacy, and, and establishing a system of justice for the people that look like them. Call being on cold like Neely Fuller Jr. talks about. They on cold. See, this is what happens when you want... When they, see... This is what black folk lack, and this is what the dominant society and all, a lot of other racial groups, they, they have. Being on cold, fuck that. Let's just illegal search this shit. Who gives a fuck? And it'll get thrown out, and we don't give a fuck because we don't care about those women that he was sexually assaulting because we don't care. We're the CIA. We got bigger fish to fry. So we don't give a fuck about what he was doing. We're the CIA. We're the CIA. We just do what the fuck we want to do. If, if I'm not mistaken, the CIA, what they report. They don't even report to nobody. It, look that shit up. I think they don't report to nobody. Do they report to the Department of Justice? It don't matter. That shit is all a joke anyway. It's just white people reporting white people. So I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas talking about. The judge has already concluded that he is, in her words, a sexual predator. So we'll have to see what happens, but a very, very important case. Could make new law on how uh, the courts deal with the seizure of iPhones and the security around uh, the data on those phones. I'm telling y'all, man. Like, I'm telling y'all, this shit's a joke. It's a fucking joke. Now, let's go to the next one. Oh, oh, no, I got plenty of stories. I got plenty. I got plenty today. No, 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 no. We got plenty of time today. So here, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got plenty of, we got plenty of stories today. Let's cut this shit off real quick because we going to the next. This is the next story. 
And then we're going to talk about it when we're done. But this is the next story right here. Here we go. Hold on. Let's back it up to the beginning. Five with your 17 Crime Watch, where an Arvin police sergeant is suspended tonight and a Bakersfield police officer has left the department. This after Kern County deputies say they found cocaine in their Bakersfield. Not weed, but cocaine. Residents. Sergeant Delia Serrano Reyes with the Arvin Police Department is on paid administrative leave after a search warrant executed by Kern deputies on Wednesday found cocaine residue in her Bakersfield home. Arvin Police Chief Alex Gazelpour says Reyes was also allegedly under the influence of cocaine when she was booked on felony. And so she just high. She so 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 now what's going to happen is if she arrested anybody. All those cases should be thrown out because the bitch was high the whole goddamn time. Misdemeanor charges. The charges include possession of a controlled substance, a misdemeanor being under the influence of a special controlled substance, a felony. Yeah, a controlled substance that y'all locked up plenty of black folk over uh, Joe 94 crime bill Biden on mandatory minimums and all this other bullshit and then just sent motherfuckers to jail. So this bitch should do 20 years like you did all those other foundational black Americans and being under the influence of a controlled substance while in possession of a firearm, also a felony. Chief Gazelpour says the arrest of Reyes is a gut punch to the Arvin PD. Gazelpour released a statement saying, quote, in light of Sergeant Reyes off-duty arrest, we urge the public not to rush to judgment. The not to rush to judgment? You see how they law enforcement wants you to not rush to judgment for them, but they'll pick one nigga, one foundational black American that have a misperhaps, and they judge us all the same. So stop. So now we're going to judge you all the same. So you, stop all that bullshit. Oh, don't judge us off one act. But all y'all, all you officers by getting high and fucking doing black tar heroin right after you arrest a motherfucker. I know you're not turning in all that evidence. You're just as crooked as anybody else. Stop. Isolated incident does not define the hard work and integrity of our police department. Gazelpour says Reyes bonded out Thursday morning. The bond was set at $32,000. Gazelpour says Reyes has served in law enforcement for six years. He says Reyes came... And she been doing cocaine for six years too. ...to the Arvin PD from the McFarland Police Department. She was just promoted to sergeant five months ago. Reyes is due back in court next week. The Bakersfield Police Department has confirmed Officer D'Angelo Sanchez had a room at the same... So this is another officer that's living with her. So what you think they is doing? Getting high. ...residence he shared with Reyes. The BPD has confirmed Officer Sanchez quit on the spot as current <laughs> deputy searched the red... Did y'all hear what he just said? He quit on the spot. He knew. Hey, man, I quit. I'm doing my resignation right now because we both getting high. ...residence. He was not arrested. Now, Chief Gazelpour with the Arvin Police Department says he received a call from the sheriff's office before they executed the search warrant at the home of Sergeant Reyes and Officer Sanchez. He says Reyes was off duty at the time of her arrest. Man, that's my dog snoring. Shit, let me turn this shit on. That's crazy. So we got police department. Then we got one more... Ex-LAPD officer was smuggling people across border and carried a ghost gun, CPB says. Now listen to this. A former Los Angeles Police Department officer, a registered sex offender, was arrested for human smuggling while in possession of an unregistered firearm on Monday, according to U.S. Customs and Border Protection. The former officer, whom the Border Patrol did not identify, was near San Diego when he was reported for suspected uh, human smuggling just before 10 p.m. CBP said in a news release when a Border Patrol agent found the ex-officer who had four people in the back of an older model SUV. The driver proactively pulled over and presented the agent with a badge similar in appearance and style to a Los Angeles Police Department badge, the release said. The former cop told the CBP agent that he is an LAPD lieutenant but the four people in the back of the SUV, three women and men, admitted to the agent that they illegally crossed into the United States from Mexico. Record checks revealed that the driver is a former Los Angeles Police Department officer who separated from the service in, guess what, y'all, 1993. You ain't been a cop since 1993. The same year he was convicted for forceful rape, a crime for which he was sentenced to three years in prison, authorities said in a news release. 
During the search of the vehicle, agents also found an unserialized 9mm handgun, often called a ghost gun because of its untraceable nature. They also found two fully loaded magazines and a shoulder holster. The driver, firearm, and vehicle were turned over to the San Diego Sheriff's Office for further processing. The release said the smuggler migrants were processed for removal. Okay, so let's get into it now. I then gave y'all three examples. Start from the top all the way to the bottom. And y'all expect black, foundational black Americans to take law enforcement serious? Stop. You got a law enforcement at the highest of the highs in the CIA just raping women, being a sexual goddamn predator, on government dime, which is taxpayers' dimes, then what the fuck is our money going to then? So y'all don't want to get foundational. You, you like, damn, where you going with this? I'm, I'm trying to prove this point. Y'all don't want to get foundational black Americans reparations, which is owed to us for building this country for free without repayment. But y'all want to pay for sinister ass motherfuckers that are raping, robbing, pillaging innocent people. That's what y'all want to do. That's what y'all want to do. So I don't want to hear that shit. While we can't get reparations, we got Brian Jeffrey Raymond, a CIA agent, just, just drugging women and raping them. I don't know what the fuck is worse. Him or the lady that was doing, then you got the other officer, she's just doing cocaine. Just the whole time, just let me just do cocaine. I don't know if that officer, I, we don't know what, how do we even know that those arrests that that officer brung to that police department were actual, in good faith, arrests? You high on cocaine. Uh, we li you're literally watching Scarface as officers. You got Scarface as officers. Just all this cocaine every goddamn where. They raid the house. The other officer's like, man, I quit. He's so high, he probably like, I quit because I don't want to go to jail. And she's supposed to be an officer. And then got promoted to lieutenant. And the last time I checked Black Folk, Foundation of Black Americans, it take goddamn an act of Congress to get promoted that fast. She already a damn lieutenant. I remember that. I remember that. Um... I remember that white that white police officer sister who was fucking all the niggas at the job, and then somebody was hate, and then they told. Cause that originally, if y'all remember, if you read the whole story, that white officer didn't tell on those brothers. Somebody inside the police department whistle blew, and it was probably a motherfucker that wasn't getting no pussy. So he told, he dry snitched. Fuck it, I take all you niggas down. You ain't getting me no pussy. Told her husband, told everybody, I was just just tricking, just dry snitching. And then that's what she folded on the other black officers. All those black officers lost their fucking jobs. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. They get, but 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 on the other hand, other racial groups, they do cocaine on the job. Then you got a CIA officer that's just drugging and raping women. So he's probably doing cocaine, giving them LSD. Well, he's a CIA officer. He can do whatever the fuck he want to do. Remember, local authorities and the regular government, they, they don't have no jurisdiction over no CIA agent. Look at the CIA and see who they report to. Because I know the Navy and the Army and all that, they report to the Pentagon and the Department of Justice. But I don't even think the CIA, if the CIA do report to somebody, you ain't going to know about it. And this man is up here just doing drugs, just, just having a great time. I don't know who's worse, this motherfucker or Freddy Krueger. I'd rather deal with Freddy Krueger than deal with this goddamn CIA agent, just drugging women and just like, what kind of shit is that? And you expect black folk to be like, hey, man. Uh, no, nah, black folk, man, we can't have them about uh, about reparations because they don't really got the money. They got more than enough money. They tricking off a lot of money on bogus bullshit. Then you got an ex, call, an ex officer that ain't been on the police force since 1993 and was convicted for fucking rape and was smuggling illegal immigrants over here. This is the type of shit that we dealing with every day. And you expect foundational black Americans to not want reparations and to not think that law enforcement is a joke. Law enforcement is the biggest joke. <laughs> since jokes were created. Why you say that, Warren? Let me tell you why I'm saying this. Look at what you got going on. Look at what you got going on. Look at where your tax dollars is going to. It's going to whatever the fuck they say it's going to. We don't really know what it's going to. They can see you as print out of what your shit is going to. We don't know what they doing. But you know what's so funny? I saw this article about Carolyn... Uh, uh, Mosby, uh, the the state prosecutor for for Baltimore. You know, as soon as she started going after those cops, they got her ass for stealing campaign funds or or, or not stealing campaign funds, but using 
some type of money to, to, to buy other houses and shit. That, I guess, was against the law. So, you know, they're going to put her black ass in jail. See, they don't have no problem putting us in jail for, for little bitty shit. But Martha Stewart could go to prison and come out and be and make even more money and be even more popular. People don't even know that Martha Stewart went to jail for insider trading, a white-collar crime. People don't even know that shit. But they use Snoop. Oh, let's put it with Snoop, and she's going to be marketable again. Now niggas don't even know she went to jail. Niggas don't even know that shit. But all our money is going to law enforcement. And look what law enforcement doing. You got one law enforcement. He worse than Freddy Krueger. He just drugging the motherfuckers. If a bitch ran from the goddamn house screaming and yelling, saying this man is crazy, I can only imagine what he was in there doing. Probably getting high out of his mind, raping him, choking him, doing all kinds of sucker shit on fucking taxpayers' dollars. While we sitting up here believing in law enforcement and believing like, well, they can't afford, you know how many people that hurt, man? The government can't afford to give them no reparations. But they give out reparations to everybody else. The white dominant Jewish community, they get reparations with no problem. That's why you've yet to hear me speak on Israel and fucking Palestine. No, it ain't my problem. They benign neglect. Every other racial group benign neglects when we want reparations. Like RFK, Robert Kennedy Jr. I don't give a fuck what hip hop platform you go on. Fuck you too, motherfucker. You would just it ain't no better than goddamn Jay Elliott. Jay Elliott have all these great talking points. Then we talk about cash payments. Oh, you gotta give it to the Native Americans first. Man, fuck you. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. too. They can make up all these lies in these polls and say all this sucker shit. Robert Kennedy, Robert Kennedy Jr. ain't shit. And he don't want no black folk to get no reparations. So if you ain't got no specific agenda for black folk, I don't even want to hear you. I'm looking at what my taxpayer dollars is going to, to fucking immoral, corrupt, backbiting CIA agents. That's worse than goddamn Freddy Krueger. They just, just, I'm, I'm like, in, in my mind, I'm like, black folk wouldn't even be as bold to even take a dollar from the CIA without writing it down. Because we're so afraid of the consequences that might happen to us. But here it is, Dominic society just do what the fuck they want to do. They've been doing what the fuck they want to do. So I don't want to hear that shit. Motherfucker sitting up here just stealing. Then the other motherfucking officer up there doing cocaine on the job. It's like, man, what? And y'all know this. Ain't none of them foundational black Americans. Foundational black Americans get fired for fucking a bitch on the job. That's what we get fired for. Oh, man, why that cop get fired? Oh, man, because he's fucking old girl at the job. Well, who else? Wasn't she fucking a bunch of niggas? Yeah, she's fucking like 10 niggas. But, you know, uh, somebody told so that they got to fire all the niggas at the job. They didn't even have no case to fire those brothers. Just because they was fucking a damn fucking fellow officer that it was verbal consent. And everybody in that police precinct knew that even the head motherfucking charge knew. Like, oh, this, this bitch like to fuck niggas. The fuck, that ain't his business. But somebody on the job, because one of the, you know how niggas are. We'll fuck on the clock in a minute. It was a pussy. And... and, and, and <laughs> And it had to be somebody who was hating, who dry snitched. I believe, this is what I believe. I believe, I forgot that that that, that police officer name, all those brothers, but I believe it was another cop from another racial group that she didn't want to get no pussy to, and he found out she was getting pussy to all the brothers, and he told. Because I've seen that happen a million times at jobs. The dumb decided they'd be cool until, until that white woman or that Asian woman ain't giving them no pussy. Then when they see that, they turn to a bitch, start dry stitching on niggas and shit. I done seen it happen, so I already know. That's what happened there. But you get to see when a police, when the black police officer get fired, it'd be some bullshit. Like maybe you stole five thousand dollars or some shit like that. It's just some bullshit. You don't never hear about no officers. Oh, he this police, this black police officer raped 55 women and choked out 10 of them. And, 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 and then the other 30 of them, we don't even know what happened to them. You don't never hear about that from black folks. Foundational black Americans. You don't ever hear that about that from us. But when it comes to Dom Society, these motherfuckers rape, rob, choke a bitch. They do all kinds of sins. Y'all better y'all motherfuckers better watch ID, investigation discovery. I learned a lot. I watched them in every series of that shit. And let me tell you, I would say about 75 to 85 percent was the dominant society killing their wives. <laughs> They will kill you in a motherfucking heartbeat. Just like that uh, Seattle Super uh, Seattle uh, Seahawks uh, Wheeler who beat up that sister. Then he tried to say, yeah, he got, you see how they do it? That's why y'all need to stop going with the okie doke with that shit too. Oh man, mental health, mental health. What, let me tell you what that white football player did. He beat the shit out of that sister. 
And then as he beat the shit out of her, his attorney is like, oh, man, he's going through a manic episode. Man, please. Then every, every football player got a it, 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 manic. Then what the fuck would you tell 500 years of redlining, Jim Crow, gentrification, all kinds of other shit, lynching? Segregation? What the fuck? What you think that'll do to black folk? And you up here talking about, oh, man, nigga, you ain't got no reason to be talking about no man. You a white, white America. So I don't want to hear that shit. That motherfucker's playing some car shit. Kneel before me, bitch. Man, y'all better wake up. These, look, the dominant society and all the other racial groups will use us and use our culture to propel their success and their stardom. Understand that shit, too. And understand that Look, when motherfuckers start saying we're going to allocate this amount of money for CIA reform or, or, or law enforcement reform, that don't mean shit. All that, you know what that means? Let me break that down to you. That means all the racist, white supremacist cops, we're just going to move them to other facets of the company so we can hide them. Like those police officers that beat the shit out of Rodney King, they still work for the police department. They just, they move those motherfuckers to other departments. Racism and white supremacy is still involved in law enforcement. So I don't want to hear none of that sucker shit. That's what I'm telling people. Like, man, I don't, I'm not giving my fucking taxpayer dollars so a motherfucker can be. First of all, if anybody going to be getting some goddamn pussy, it should be me. Nigga, I'm the one fucking paying taxes for this shit. I'm paying taxes so another motherfucker can get pussy. You know how mad I was when I read this story? <laughs> I'm trying not to lie, but I'm being goddamn serious. I was mad as fuck. I'm like, okay, what'd he do? I thought he killed somebody first. I saw reading story. Oh, this nigga just getting pussy on government dime. Nigga. Well, I wish I could get pussy on government dime. I do it all day. Shit. And, and I don't, and you don't even have to worry about me choking a bitch, drugging a bitch. We don't have to do none of that shit. And this motherfucker just sitting up there just doing some sinister shit because he can. Because the dominant society understands that they're not going to face the same repercussions that black folk will in the United States of America Incorporated. That's why they illegally searched his phone and did that because they know his lawyer was going to be like, hey, your honor, they illegally searched my client's phone. And guess what? All that shit might get thrown out and he's going to walk away free being a goddamn rapist and a sexual predator. But they got fucking, they trying to fuck with old ass Bill Cosby. First of all, those women were throwing pussy at Bill Cosby. Stop. This is Bill Cosby. Stop. We know that. But they're trying to fuck with Bill Cosby. But it has been said because Bill Cosby, one of his properties is on a big oil land and they want to take that property so they can fucking drill that oil. That's what has been said. And then when you see what they did with R. Kelly, we'll just drain you your resources and you can't even defend yourself. But then I'm so sick of people bringing up Lee and all this other shit. Man, stop with that shit. You don't see our family saying shit or you wasn't close to the situation, stop. And Tyrannosaurus Burke, who looked like King Koopa and a fucking alligator had a fucking baby, that ugly bitch need to go stand in the corner. And then after that, I'll put, hold up a mirror to scare the shit out of her ass and be like, yeah, bitch, this is you. You don't even have a right to be saying this shit. Starting all kinds of problems. And that's why the dominant society use ugly women like her. I'm sorry to say this shit, but have y'all seen Toronto? Toronto Burke, she was, the, she was the progenitor of that R. Kelly bullshit. That's the reason why the man's locked up. All these record labels and all these people, all these, and all you ho-ass artists that distance yourselves from R. Kelly when this shit's going on, fuck y'all too. Y'all ain't shit. Get on my fucking nerves. That's why I got love for B2K and them. They like, well, man, we don't condone what he did, but damn, we not finna front on what he did for us. Like, we don't even know how to establish a code. We just drop a motherfucker like it is tomorrow while the dominant society is staying on code the whole fucking time. The whole fucking time. Like I said, this XCI was drugging women and raping their asses. And one woman ran away from the house, kicking and screaming and shit, talking, this man is crazy. And they gonna throw the whole case out. This is where your taxpayer dollars. Look, you're like, well, not my, no, nigga, he's a CIA agent. That come from everybody's tax dollars, not just one state. The fuck you mean? That's why J. Edgar Hoover, if you read that book, The Burglary, J. Edgar Hoover, every fucking year would like, he would, he would do things like kiss, you know what I'm saying, kiss the president's ass, kiss the Department of Justice's ass so he can get funding for his department. So y'all ain't know that, huh? Yeah, because you need funding for that. That's why J. Edgar Hoover was a goddamn, he was a goddamn uh, director of the FBI for 40 years. Now, you tell me, that don't look a little strange? 
And and fuck John F. Kennedy and all them too. They up here talking about the John F. Kennedy and all them motherfuckers for civil rights and all that. Man, fuck y'all. This man had COINTEL Pro. Y'all knew he was doing the sucking shit. Y'all was just making sure he didn't have no shit on y'all. And stop. Motherfuckers always want to talk that, hey man, you know, Black Lives Matter and all that. Fuck all that. And fuck Black Lives Matter too. Because them bitches was stealing the whole fucking time and collected all that fucking money under the guise of Black Lives Matter. And now they didn't ball houses. Y'all, them bitches go to jail. I'm so sick of all these fucking groups running game on black folks. Run game on all these other racial groups. Don't run it on us. We ain't got no money as it is. Motherfucker want to run games on us. Nigga, you are not Pat Sajak, and this ain't fucking Will of Fortune. Don't run no fucking game on me. I'll take that wheel that they spin and take one of them prongs and fucking bop you upside the head with it. Running game on niggas. You know niggas ain't got no fucking money as it is. And then niggas is always trying to wonder, like, well, why well, don't... You know, Oprah and Jordan and all that. Look, man, no. Why don't the government give Foundation of Black Americans reparations? Stop pointing at all these other motherfuckers that got money. Let's look at the motherfucker who got the money that can give it to us. If they can fund the Ukraine, all this sucker shit, then they give us reparations. If it ain't one war they funded, it's another war. You notice how they funded all these motherfucking wars. And then they'll use Martin Luther King. Amy Schumer's ugly ass. I use Martin Luther King. But nobody wants to use that speech when Martin Luther King was talking about, hey, man, fuck these wars. Foundational black Americans need the money. We coming for the money. And after that, they killed them. Nobody talks about that speech. They talk about all the other suck ass speeches. That I have a dream bullshit. So I don't want to hear that shit. Then every time black folks try to build a community for themselves, that motherfuckers drop a bomb on it or do some sucking shit to impede on the progress of it. So I don't want to hear none of that shit. I'm just tired of us. If motherfuckers want to believe in law enforcement, believe in the government. I gave you three fucking examples of why this shit don't work. And why voting Democrat and Republican don't work for foundational black Americans because they ain't got no type of agenda for black folk. Period. None. Zip. Zero. Zilch. Nada. So I don't want to hear that shit. You got Kamala or Kamala, whatever the fuck she want to call herself. Where the fuck she at? Oh, you going to see her making her rounds? Man. I seen a picture of Roland Martin. It was somebody in there. Oh, it's Fat Joe. They promote Fat Joe Hispanic. And Fat Joe's full of shit. And I like Fat Joe. Fat Joe's full of shit, man. You doing... See, this is... Look, I'm going to say this, and I'm about to end mine. He is the epitome of motherfuckers who ain't never really had stardom, and now they have stardom, so now they want to fucking tell everybody else what the fuck they supposed to be doing. He's the epitome of that. He wasn't just happy with being Fat Joe making... You know, hip hop music and fucking playing his part. Now he's global, not global, but now he's national, and everybody know who he is, and everybody want to you know take pictures with him. First of all, it's an insult that he's hosting the BET Hip Hop Awards, dude. You Puerto Rican? How many Puerto Rican artists do we know? I'm talking about Puerto Rican art. Like, stop. I'm not saying that it's you know non FBA motherfuckers that are not in hip hop, but what I'm saying is y'all didn't create the shit. And you're running around with this false fucking narrative that you did. Peaky Dicky, man, stop that, Joe. Big Pun already said, Boricua Morena, giving props to the black Americans for allowing us to do hip-hop music. That, uh, uh, Big Pun already said the shit. And here you go talking about, oh, no, it's 50-50. Nah, nigga, stop. Then if it's 50-50, then why in fucking Puerto Rico they ain't doing no goddamn hip-hop? And when you do do black music, they talk about, why you listen to that Moringa music? They don't like that, man. Stop. Stop. We got to wake up, man. This shit is, 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 law enforcement is a joke. We paying for, we're literally paying for fucking vigilantes to go rape and rob motherfuckers. And they had a nerd to arrest us and turn our cars upside down, look for everything, and they find a little piece of cocaine, and they, like, and you got law enforcement doing it. So y'all mean to tell me that law enforcement ain't doing no cocaine and no black tar heroin? Stop. They the main ones doing it. I want to hear that shit. All over the United States of America Incorporated. All of them are. I would say 70% of law enforcement is dope fiends. And I don't give a fuck what you say. Look, man, you better wake up and go look at this shit, man. And that CIA officer's name is Brian Jeffrey Raymond. That's a CIA officer. And then what was that girl's name? Yeah, what was that girl's name? Because I'm about to find her name. Sar Sergeant Delia Reyes. She was doing cocaine in, in, in Bakerfield, California. 
And then they won't name the ex-police officer that was smuggling immigrants over the border. So I want to hear that. And please, don't get... Look, I'm going to say it one more time. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is full of shit. Motherfucker want to talk about reparations and all this other shit, right? And then soon as you be like, well, do you think black folks can get cash payment? No. Then fuck out of here. Bernie Sanders on that same sucker shit. These people are not your friends. So stop just because they smile with you and want to listen to a little bit of hip-hop just so they can bond with you don't mean that they're going to be for you being liberated and having money. In this climate, and with these fucking goddamn interest rates, man, a bag of goddamn rubbles is $8. I said, God damn. A bag of rubbles is $8. I said, shit, I look like a nigga won't be eating no chips no more, goddamn. I, I, you know what? I, fuck it. I'm just going to start eating bread and water. Cold water sandwiches. Bread and water. They make it where you make it unaffordable where you go to the grocery store, you can't get shit. Man. So fuck all that. And fuck all these motherfuckers that ain't got no specific agenda for black folk. If they don't got no specific agenda for foundation black Americans, fuck them. Guilty nigga, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>